Hello everyone, today is October 13, 2024. I am coming here to share with you guys what the Lord wants me to share. The last video I posted, I had a few comments that um, were not too kind and I got into prayer and the Lord gave me instructions concerning those comments. So there was some comments about that they feel like I am way too stoic I, to put it that way, when I talk about the things that are happening, coming, and what God is saying, they're expecting me to be crying as I say these things because it shows more emotion, I guess. And um, I just want to come out here and say, first of all, I do a lot of crying. I just keep it off camera. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you can see it in my eyes. They do look pretty sad. They're glossy, like how dogs look. My, my son is constantly telling me that I look like I have dog's eyes. Yeah, I do a lot of crying, but I don't do it on camera because I don't want nobody to see me. I mean, once in a blue moon, it'll come out because I just can't help myself. But usually, thankfully, I have learned to like keep that in private because I don't like to show myself crying. You know, there's a time for everything. Now, I wanted to share that sometimes I do sound like I am completely insensitive, but I want you all to understand that it's not that I am insensitive and that I don't feel the emotions that go along with the things I'm saying is that I have been doing this first of all for a really long time. And, um, and I've, as I have done all this for so many years, I have noticed and learned that people just don't care about the truth. And they, in the majority, just love to turn a blind eye and to continue on their stubbornness and on their selfishness. And that's why too, sometimes I do come off a little bit like how it, that comment was, because I am literally trying to shake up people awake. It's like, I am so tired of people turning a blind eye, even as the continuation of the truth being exposed to the limit, to the level that is like, so blatantly out there and people still want to continue to put their head in the sand and not take it out. So I do apologize if I sound that I am indifferent or insensitive towards people's feelings. When I say some of the things I speak, I'm not indifferent. I pray a lot for everybody before I even come out here. I pray a lot for the victims in North Carolina as well as Florida and for before and after the situations. I'm always praying for everything that's going on and for everything that I talk about here. I just sometimes, I guess, sound like I, I don't care. Anyways, that's not true. I do care and I care a lot. That's why I'm here. I don't do this for my health. I definitely don't do it for money. I'm doing it to obey God and because I do care for the souls and I want them to be saved is the main thing. And I want to share with you guys that I've been through my whole share of all awful things that a person can possibly go through in a lifetime. You know, I know what it is to lose your mom when you're just a teenager. I know how it is to be sexually assaulted and even raped. I know what it feels like to be, you know, completely violated. I know what it feels like to be exploited. I know what it feels like to lose everything you own. I've lost my house a few times. I've been evicted from very several places. And I know what it feels to lose all your furniture that you bought with your hard earned money. And um, let me see what else. I mean, I've been through so many things. So I'm definitely very acquainted with people's pain. And I don't take any of it for granted. And I don't uh, want to make anybody feel like I don't relate. I actually relate a hundred percent. The only thing is that after going through so many horrific things that I've experienced, there's nothing worse than going to hell. And I experienced that too. I literally know what it feels like to be a soul in eternity and not have the slightest light of hope. And thinking that you're going to be separated for an entire eternity from God and you're going to be left at the mercy of demons. Um, I wrote about my experience in my books, We Were Deceived and Be Wise. I have them both in different perspectives of what I went through. But that in itself, it just overlaps everything I have ever suffered in this life. And I believe that any human being will also agree with me that there is nothing worse than to end up in hell. And because that's my perspective in things, I sometimes sound a bit insensitive or cold or stoic 
when people are like, why? You know, this is why. Because I want people to escape that place. And sometimes it takes the blatant, blunted truth to shake some people awake. So please forgive me if you feel like I'm indifferent or insensitive or a little bit too cold, but that's not my intention. I really just genuinely do care for the souls and I want no one to end up in hell because they will regret it. Trust me. Yes, it will be their worst decision to reject the truth and they will find that out and they, it will be too late. Um, so after I prayed about all this, the Lord gave me an instruction to give you all that are watching me. Um, I'm going to post the movie about Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah from the Old Testament. The movie is absolutely excellent. It's done to the teeth uh, how it is written in the Bible. If you want to read it in the Bible, I suggest you do that first because the Bible is always better than to watch the movie. When you read, you consume it a lot more intent and and deeply into your spirit and it's just like it strengthens you so much but if you don't want to read it and you just want to watch the movie please watch this movie and then ask yourself which role are you playing in this story are you jeremiah the prophet who god ordained to go tell the people that were in sin that the judgments were coming if they did not repent and to tell them all what they were doing wrong and what it was that God was ex instructing for them to do so that they can be um, saved and have mercy. Are you the ones that are mocking Jeremiah and in like how it was in the book of Jeremiah that they were stoning him and beating him up and being all cruel to him because they didn't like the things that he was saying. Are you the people that chose to believe the false prophets instead of Jeremiah? Even after knowing Jeremiah got a few prophecies correct and you continue to believe the false prophets and turn a blind eye to the truth of what Jeremiah was prophesying and coming to pass. Are you like the king in Jerusalem or in Israel where he was so upset with Jeremiah because he could not understand why God would only speak to Jeremiah and instead he asked, why doesn't God speak to me directly? And Jeremiah explains, because you have idols in your life and you're practicing sin and you're leading people to do the same as a leader. You're not supposed to do these things because they are following your lead. And that's why God is not able to speak to you. Are you that person in in your life where you're rejecting the prophets that are speaking to you on behalf of God and at the same time getting upset at God because he's not talking to you directly like how you see that he speaks to the prophets but yet you are practicing a lot of sin and you're conscious of the things that he does not approve of and still practicing them and then expect him to speak to you directly in the same manner as he does to like people like Jeremiah so watch this whole entire story about Jeremiah because literally that's what we are experiencing right now. It is the beginning of it all and it's exactly going to be like almost to the T the same as what happened to the people in Israel during those days. America represents Israel and Jeremiah is the people like me that are saying the things that nobody else is saying and that nobody else likes and that is like annoying because we're speaking truth that nobody wants to believe. And then... um People are choosing to believe the false prophets and the prosperity gospel preachers and the people who are going along with the sinful ways of this life and thinking that nothing is going to happen. So um, in prayer, that was the Lord telling me to let you all know, to try to see if you can make time to see the entire movie or read the book of Jeremiah and ask yourself and be sincere, which one are you from that story? Are you the prophet Jeremiah? Are you the king? of Israel that is being arrogant and um, wanting to lead everyone around your life towards the wrong path and then expect God to bless you and to have mercy on you and to protect you from the enemies and from the disasters and also to speak to you directly even though you're completely outside of his holy and perfect will. Are you the people that were mocking Jeremiah and hurt, hurting him and even almost causing him to die? Are you the people that um, actually were assisting Jeremiah and helping him to continue to, the, to do the work of God and enabling him to continue to persevere in the path of God, that you can also ask yourself. So ask yourself, where are you in this story with Jeremiah? Because we are literally living in that book right now. And God wants you all to reflect and to repent if you are one of those people that is outside of the will of God and that is one of those people who is 
not heeding the voice of the true prophet. In those days, a lot of prophets were saying the, the good things that the people wanted to hear and the blessings that were supposed to supposedly going to come and that God was pleased with them and that everything was okay. And then just one prophet was raising up his voice in the total opposite direction and everybody was mocking him and, and fighting with him and making him miserable. Are you guys those people, the prophets that were saying the good things and not wanting to hear the ones that were actually speaking on behalf of God. It's important, you guys, that we repent now before the coming judgments continue to increase. Literally, we have the gun on our head and any moment now we can die and end up in hell. Do not go to hell. I do advise you as well that if you're struggling with some type of sin, you should look at the videos in, in YouTube with so many testimonies of people who have died and gone to hell and learn what happens to those souls. Maybe that'll help you to get that conviction that you need to persevere in the path of God and to renounce everything that is not holy and to truly seek his face in seriousness. Because trust me when I tell you, whatever you have gone through in this life and whatever you may go through in the future, it does not compare to the things that you go through in hell as a soul that has been lost forever. That is just the worst thing that can happen to a human being and it's forever. There's no ending to it. So um, I'm just here to share the, the things that God wants me to share with you guys. Please do the research. Consider watching that movie. It's a great movie. It was done super good. You're not going to be bored. And ask yourself, who are you in that movie? And if you're not standing right with God and you see yourself as that, please consider that this is what's coming to America and you need to repent and get in the side of the people that were in the side of God. May God bless you and have a good day.